Today we're going to be talking about tree coverage on the homeowner's policy and it can be a very confusing subject. Hope you enjoy. Tree coverage can be very confusing and we're going to break this into two different categories. On the one hand, we've got a tree that has fallen on a structure. So if you think about your homeowner's insurance, what you're doing is you're insuring the structures. That's your primary objective on a homeowner's policy. So if you have a tree, a windstorm comes through or something like that, and it blows a tree over on your structure, okay, we've got potential damage to that structure. Your insurance policy will typically pay within reason what it takes to get the tree off the structure so they can assess the damage. So they're not really paying you in that scenario for the loss of the tree. They're also not necessarily paying to remove the tree from the premises. They need to get it off the structure so they can assess the damage. That's one scenario. That's fairly cut and dry. Where the confusion comes in is when you have a windstorm come through and it blows a bunch of trees down in somebody's yard or something like that. In that scenario, there is no coverage for those trees that get blown over. Now, if one of those trees gets blown over a driveway, so it impedes your ingress and egress, the homeowner's policies will typically pay a limit somewhere between $500 or $1,000 to get the tree off of the driveway. So that's the only case uh, in that scenario where you have a wind claim where it would potentially pay something related to trees, but it's still, it's not paying for the tree, it's paying to remove it. Now, to confuse the matter a little bit, there is some limited coverage for trees in relation to lightning claims. So if you have a tree that gets struck by lightning and it kills the tree, most homeowners policies will pay you for the loss of the tree. Not to remove the tree again, they're paying you for the loss. And again, it's going to have a limit somewhere in the range of $500 to $1,000. So as you can see, as it relates to trees, it can get very muddy depending on did the tree fall on something? Uh, what's going on? Did it just fall out in the yard because of wind? So if you have questions about tree coverage or anything else related to homeowners or auto, don't hesitate to give, hesitate to give Terry or myself a call here at Westside Advisors and Insurance Services. I hope you have a great week.